Easter is right around the corner, so let's paint a bunny in some flowers. First, I took my mop brush and I decided to do a peach and white background, just back and forth strokes over the entire thing. And then I took some dark brown and did one strip at the very bottom. That's going to be our ground to put our flower pot on. Now I wanted more of a clay pot color, so I mixed red, orange, and light brown together. And I'm going to paint my flower pot just the shape, give it two sides and a curved bottom. I brought my sides up about halfway on my canvas and then I filled it in. You may need two coats of paint and don't worry too much about the top, but before it dries, grab some white and you can add a little bit of highlighting just to make it look a little less flat. I'm gonna do some curved uh, brush strokes in the middle, on the sides, on the top, even take some more of that clay pot color and you can blend those in a little bit. Just gives it a little bit more interest. And then dry it because we're gonna paint our bunny body. Now as a guideline, I'm just gonna use the top of one of my water containers, overlap it on the pot a little bit in the center and take a pencil to trace around the edge. That way I have something round as a guideline and I'm going to fill it in with white paint. You could do whatever color bunny you want. There's gray, there's brown, there's black, but I'm doing white. And because it's white, I'm going to do a little bit of shading before it dries with some gray. So I'm gonna contour around the outside edge and blend that in with some white. You can, instead of gray, you could even use blue or purple. I've seen all different kinds of shading colors. Just give it something so it doesn't look like a snow cone, which it kind of does look like, like a snow cone right now, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that. Take some of your clay pot color and fix up the top. You can even design it with a little bit of a rim like you see me doing here. I'm even gonna take some white and highlight the rim as well, but don't worry too much about the detail on this because it's going to get covered with grass and his bunny feet. So I'm just doing a little bit, especially along the edges. Now, while that dries, I'm going to take a size four round brush and add some grass. Now, we're gonna plant the grass in the brown, so pull up lines all different directions. I'm alternating between the dark and the light green. See, they are going up above the flower pot all the way to the other side. And maybe it's early spring, you don't have to have as much grass as I do, but I wanted it to be a little bit more full, so make sure you peek over the edge of your easel and fill in along the bottom as well. I'm even gonna pull out some grasses from inside the flower pot. Maybe these are just long leaves. See, I'm curving them up and around the sides of the edge. And because he's sticking in those flowers, I'm doing little grasses or little leaves going all around his body. You decide how much there is peeking out, but give your flowers or carrots or whatever he is getting into a home. So I did that all over his body. Don't worry if you got it inside the circle because you can go back and just fix that up with a little bit of white paint. And now that the flower pot is dry, we can also give him some feet because he is hanging out there. We're going to make an egg shape for his foot that overlaps between his body and the flower pot. See how it's slightly tilting in towards the center of him. And once you have that filled in, you may need more than one coat. Before it dries, I'm going to contour his heel with a little bit of gray as well. Do the same thing on the right side, make an egg shape and contour the heel. That one's also leaning in slightly towards the middle of him. And there we go. Now I'm gonna try to make tracers for these shapes, but if you're freehanding it, here's a good way to do it. Take a small pouncer, and I'm gonna use even a little bit of a bigger one, and make three toes in the bottom of his foot. This is good if you're not good at freehanding. This at least gives you the right spacing so all his toes are the same size. But once I get those circles in there, I just take my brush and I connect them to the foot, just fill them in. So see, I'm gonna do this on the right foot, three little toes, all the same size, and then fill them in. Just kind of outline the shape, connect them, and there you go. I'm starting to see a bunny. To really make them look like feet, let's add the little pink pads. I'm just taking my smaller round brush with some light pink and white. I added a smaller egg shape on his heel and I'm going to do three little circles in the middle of each of his toes. You can even shade them with a little bit of that dark pink there. Do the same thing to the right side. Oh, that really makes all the difference. I don't know what it is about the little pink feet, little pads at the bottom, but that makes them pop. Now here's the fun part. We're gonna add some flowers. Take a round brush. I'm gonna show you how to do a lazy flower shape. I made a dot with a dark color. I'm using dark pink. And have you ever played with one of the Spirograph toys where you just go around and around and around until you reach the other side? That's what we did here. Make a dot. I'm doing a lighter shade next before it dries. 
And I just keep going around and around in a circle until I reach all the way around, but it's always crossing. The circles are always crossing through that center point. Make a dot and then just keep going around and around and around. Kind of makes you dizzy. But the trick is you're using a dark shade and a light shade of a color. So leave a little bit of the dark shade peeking out from around the outside edge. And you can do this with any color combination. So I did three pink flowers and I'm gonna do a couple blue ones here. Round and around and around and a light blue shade going around. There we go. We're gonna add more details to them, but this is just the base color. And you can really do any type of flower you want, so just have fun with it. He could be getting into all sorts of stuff. <laughs> now, I'm gonna also take a smaller little brush and add some white dots in the center of each of these flowers. And how about we add a couple little white flowers. I'm just gonna dot in some white all throughout the green as like a little bit of an accent. Really makes it pop and ties in all the white from that bunny too. There we go. Maybe we'll even add a couple more leaves. You can play with your composition now that you have everything in there. And now this is optional, but because it's almost Easter, why don't we have a couple Easter eggs at the bottom? Paint your eggs white first, so that way you can make them any color you want. I'm going to do one leaning to the left and the right, and how about we have one going off the corner? He's peeking in from the right bottom corner there. And then you can make them whatever color you want. I'm gonna do light purple. How about some light blue? I used the two blues from the flowers. How about yellow? We haven't done that yet. Maybe add a little bit of white for highlighting so they look shiny. There we go. Let's make them even really pop. I'm gonna take some of the darker shades of each of those colors and outline maybe the bottom and along the top. However much detail you wanna do, that's up to you. These eggs are optional. And then I'm gonna do some yellow polka dots on the purple one, maybe some curved stripes on the blue. Maybe we do some curved lines and polka dots on the yellow one, I like that. Keeping it super simple, you don't want them to take away from the bunny, which is our focus. And speaking of the bunny, we need a tail. Now, call me crazy, but what do you think about a pine cone as a bunny tail? I cut it in half like you do when you do pine cone flowers. Either side would work, really. But I'm gonna take this side that kind of looks fluffy. I know it's prickly, but let's pretend for the sake of the project, we're painting it white with craft paint. I think that might work. I don't know, something about it really fits a bunny tail. So we're just gonna paint that white and set it off to the side. While it dries, I'm taking a detail brush. I like to line my figure, so I'm going to take just straight up gray and outline the bottom and the feet, all the toes. You can do the line as thick as you want, but I just think that makes it pop. And I also like to add white highlights, so I'm gonna do little white curves in each of the little pink pads on his feet. Why don't we even do curves in the flowers? That kind of makes them look like the pattern in the pine cone too, which is cool. You can do as much detail as you want on these flowers, but I think the white in them really makes them stand out. Even some highlights maybe on the flower pot. I don't know, I think I blended those back in, but again, as much detail as you wanna do. I'm even gonna add a couple more leaves and more flowers. That way the tail doesn't hide everything up there completely. And let's see, it looks dry. So I'm gonna just take some hot glue and glue it right up at the top of his bottom. I love that. I just like how the shadows and the 3D effect looks but I know not everybody has pine cones available to them, so here comes Peter Cottontail. Grab some cotton balls if you don't have a pine cone. Let me show you option number two. Take a couple cotton balls and start pulling them apart. When you do this, the fibers like to stick together almost like Velcro. So you can just stick them together like that and build up the tail as fluffy as you want it. I do kind of like the fluffiness of cotton balls too, so I am so torn about which one I like better. So I built it up into a round shape like a bunny tail. And for that, you don't even need hot glue, just use a little bit of school glue. They stick pretty easy, just like that. The cotton ball method is a little easier to teach in person. And of course you could always just paint it on, but I love using 3D elements and just something different in my paintings. So let me know which one you like better. And if you try it, I would love to see how they turn out. Have fun, make it your own and happy painting.